Thanks very much, Cahirlik, uh, and uh, I want to agree with my colleague, uh, Senator O'Brien, and others to an extent in terms of the Code of Conduct and Mortgage Arrears being applying to the, uh, the loan books that will be sold. But I have a concern about, and I've mentioned it many times here, that the Code of Conduct isn't really worth the paper it's written on. Uh, and what we see in practice now, particularly from the organisations who are withdrawing from the Irish market, is they are forcing people to... Uh, um, repossession or voluntary sale situations. I had a case yesterday where a family farm, generations, uh, generations in the one family, uh, with 100 acres, probably worth in the region of a million, was being forced to be sold because the borrowing was 480,000. Now that's fundamentally wrong. It's not necessary, but it's the quickest way for the bank who are leaving the Irish market to extract their money from it. Now that wasn't the spirit with which the code of conduct was established. It's not the way things should be done. And the fact is, the fox remains in charge of the hen house. Is it any wonder that they'd openly sign up to this? Uh, another case uh, where I myself was the mediator uh, between the people and a subprime lender, I constantly went to them to ask for uh, the mortgage to rent, which they trumpeted as a solution that they were offering to customers. They refused it, and last week, sent the papers for an assisted voluntary sale, which again is not in the spirit of it. So the reality is the government have washed their hands of this, the banks are in absolute control, and now we're saying, well, sure, look, we'll get the vulture funds to sign up to the Code of Conduct, which puts them in control anyway, and, uh, and let them on. So as my colleague, Senator O'Brien, has rightly pointed out, if we're prepared to do the deal at a knockdown price for some unknown vulture fund in Intracocaliki, why can't we do the same for the actual people themselves? Why can't we offer them the 50% write-downs, keep them in their homes, keep them in the family farms, keep them uh, uh, where they belong, rather than throw them to the wolves? Can I say on another issue that's been mentioned indeed by colleague Senator Burke, uh, that the IMO are going to be in town today to give us some advice. I'm just finishing a here look uh, on the, um, uh, no doubt, uh, the, the free GP care for under sixes, which the IMO described uh, in terms of the contract as uh, unworkable in its entirety. One little point I do want to bring to the House's attention is, in the new contract, there's one little clause in it, and despite the fact that it's completely unworkable, this one says service providers, that's GPs, will not do, quote, anything to prejudice the name or reputation of the HSE. I mean, it sounds like something that should be going on over in the other house at the moment, be to do with whistleblowers, rather than to tell GPs you can no longer be advocates for if it's contrary in any way to the HSE and what they propose.